All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are learning a very valuable lesson in the world of figs. I've been getting this question a lot lately because now we're actually harvesting our figs. We're getting into that fall season. The fig is a fall fruit. A lot of my trees actually behind me are finished ripening now. They're dropping their leaves and actually we're getting really close to dormancy. And people are wondering, well, Ross, if I harvest my figs or I pick a fig off of the tree, can it continue ripening? The answer is no. That's the short and sweet and simple answer. If we actually harvest the fig, like the one here behind me, off the tree, in my, by my definition and hopefully by your definition at the end of this video, I think we're gonna agree the answer is no. Because if you look at this fig, it is actually getting sunlight, the energy from the sunlight, and capturing that through photosynthesis. It's then producing carbohydrates, and the carbohydrates are then being stored. Some of that is being pushed into the fruits to make them sweeter and to ripen them longer. So if I, as an example, cut my arm off, I suggest we do this, but my heart is no longer pumping blood to my arm, right? It's somewhere over there. It's the same thing with our figs is that we can no longer pump carbohydrates into the fruits because they're no longer connected to the source of those carbohydrates. So I think that's where the confusion is a lot with people was that they actually see their figs once they harvest them and they put them some in some environment, let's say in their fridge, on their counter, and they change. But that change is not actually, and by my definition, them ripening. It's them just changing because of their environment. In fact, figs even on the tree will change very greatly actually based on their environment. Right now it's really cold and this colder weather is typically making the figs really tough. Um, there's also a lower humidity, so some of that water is actually evaporating out of the figs right now, concentrating their sugars, making them actually a bit, seem a bit more sweeter. And so the same thing happens post-harvest. We take them off the trees, we put them in our fridge, and let's say what I like to do, like this fig right here has been in my fridge for about a week now. I didn't do exactly what I love to do, which is I like to cut them in half, put them skin side down on a plate, and then place them in the fridge or in a tray and place them in the fridge. And by doing that, the water, because it's a quite a drier environment in my fridge, that water evaporates out of the, the fruits. And then I have a higher concentration over the course of about a week to three weeks of sugar content. And so I can take a fig that really isn't that ripe, put it in the fridge, as long as it's dry in a lower humidity environment, they're gonna actually tend to what people would consider ripen longer, but really they're just changing and actually becoming, in my opinion, a much better, higher quality fruit that's actually more enjoyable to eat. So it really does depend on what it is exactly we're talking about here. Uh, also the textures tend to change, the figs tend to become softer post-harvest, uh, but you know, also a lot of negative things happen. And so the figs can actually start to ferment and rot and mold. And so if we have really warm temperatures like on our counters, or if we have a really warm spot in our house, or let's say we just leave them outside to rot, uh, that's gonna increase that bacteria production. And they're gonna actually start to turn our figs to an unpleasant state. So that's kind of the, the details there, guys. That's a really simple answer, but you would not believe how much incorrect information there is on the internet on this. Please, if you love this video and you like the content, hit the subscribe button for me right now. Hit the like button for me right now. Check out my blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.